Hi guys! This video is about making window wind deflectors for your Toyota Spider. When you are driving your Spider in topless mode, I mean roof off and windows down, there is that little wind that deflects on your side mirror and ends up in your ear. The same happens with little bugs. So today I show you how you can make your own wind deflectors. Let's start! These are the items that we uh, use. Uh, we see here a hacksaw, piece of paper, utility knife, a ruler, sanding paper, a cutting mat and the important thing, the acrylic plate. We also need uh, a heating device for bending the acrylic. Uh, this is from an old uh, microwave oven. Uh, ah, never throw uh, old stuff away, you see it's handy. And this is a piece of wood I made for bending the acrylic when it's hot. So, that's it! The first thing I did was to draw a template on a piece of paper. I show you the measurements in the next slide. I start measuring from the straight angle. So if you make a paper template first, you can use that to draw on your acrylic without the need of a straight angle. Be aware that you have a right and a left wind deflector. Especially important to keep that in mind when you're bending the acrylic. So the acrylic you can cut with a utility knife. Show you. Yeah, and then you can bend it and it snaps. That's it. When you cut all the pieces, it should look like this. If you find it difficult or dangerous to cutting the acrylic with a utility knife, especially the smaller parts, you can use the hacksaw. Before you heating the acrylic, remove any protecting foil. Bending the acrylic is not that difficult. I use a heating unit from a microwave oven. But you can use other methods like a blowtorch. If you heat the acrylic, then only heat the part that you want to bend and watch your fingers. When you bend the acrylic, hold it in place for a few moments and let it cool. I use two pieces of wood for placing the lip in between. The angle I bend is just a little less than 90 degrees. Let's speed it up a little. Remember that you have a right and a left deflector, so the lip must bend in the opposite direction. When the acrylic is cooled down, you can sand the edges. And this is what they look when they are finished. To put the wind deflector on the car, it's a very easy job. Here you see the rubber part and the plastic part. Between them, there is a little gap. That's where our wind deflector is gonna be. Take your wind deflector and squeeze the tip of them just between the rubber part and the plastic part slide a little to the blow that's it okay guys thanks for watching this was my video about making wind deflectors i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoy driving it with your own wind deflectors please put your comment below and um, please also subscribe here yeah, so you don't uh, miss my uh, road trip to uh, Europe and preparations for that. So, guys, thanks for watching. See you. Bye.